Okay, so raw diet, we can sort of uh, categorize or classify it into three different types. Okay, so raw meat based diet or RMBD is, as the name suggests, is raw meat based, giving raw diet, then you put a bit of it, uh, sort of a raw meat inside there, and they have that. So this is this is not an uncommon diet from the very best start because they only have a raw diet and you just get meat. Okay. Then you have the bath diet, as we briefly mentioned before. So you get a proportion of the bone and a raw feed. Um, and that proportion is made by the vet who did it in Australia first. And after that, they follow on from that. Then after that, you have the prey model diet, which is the whole carcass diet. So they're thinking, okay, dogs eating raw feed, like the wolves. Don't forget that it doesn't just eat the meat, it eats everything as well. So they're coming back to a bit more normal and natural. So to say that, okay, if that's going to be the best benefit, then they have to eat the entire carcass. So what they use is the 80-10-10 rule, whereby it is 80% meat, 10% bone, and 10% offal. So just to make sure that compared to the raw meat based diet, it well just could be purely muscle that they're eating. No offal, no bone, and that. So three different sort of uh, models, and uh, usually, usually, most of the raw food providers out in the market right now they would fall into one of these categories. How is it prepared? It can be fresh, usually dehydrated to increase the uh, sort of uh, shelf life. It can be frozen before giving out. 60 to 80% water, okay, that is pretty much what our body consists of. So 70 to 80%, that's what we are. So if you're going to get sort of a raw feed from there, then you know it's not uh, unusual as a mindset 60 80% water okay it is a growing market having said that it's still less than 1% of market share that is how small it is at this moment in time so you have all your big companies with all the dry food diets those is still by far the biggest market share and then followed by wet food and then followed by raw feed which is less than 1% it's still really growing popularity but it's still a pretty small market at this point in time so advantageous Health benefits, that is what most people say. That is why I'm giving raw health benefits. My dog is better, my dog is more active. It's uh, uh, If there is any sort of conditions they had before, skin conditions, gastrointestinal conditions, uh, feeding raw made all these signs go away. So it's supposed to be better for the skin and the teeth and the hair coat, uh, the quality of that as well. So these are all the usual reasons why people would cite go for raw feed diets. Then on top of that, it's closer to nature. It's, you know, dogs were supposed to be from wolves and wolves they don't eat biscuits in a while. So we like to do that as well. Okay, so those are the sort of uh, main advantages that usually people cite, uh, pet owners cite when they want to <coughs> say that. That's why I'm feeling raw. Yeah. So these advantages is a certainly increased care for handling, uh, whereby you're feeding, you're, you're handling raw food. Just like how in the kitchens, in the professional kitchen, talk about handling chicken uh, or any sort of uh, sort of raw meat, really. So we have to be quite careful with handling, and certainly um, that would be sensible as well. Even in our own kitchen, when we prepare food as well. So we have to get all that in mind. A potential infectious organism and zoonosis is always the biggest scare of all. People always talk about that. Okay, you can't give raw because it's uh, salmonella, campylobacter, vector, or the increased risk of that. So how true it is, we'll find out more. But these are the usual cited disadvantages. And also increased care for handling, including, uh, includes things like uh, extra um, storage facilities like uh, refrigeration or uh, freezing, um, compared to putting in a tub or in a tin, and you just stack it on the shelves and take it out as when needed. So it does, it, it does have an involvement of increased care for handling. So that is the uh, so, sort of supposed disadvantages of uh, raw feeding.